up, everybody? My name is Advance, and this is Advance Sports Talk. All right, so we are here to break down Davis versus Garcia. Oh, shit, that's the wrong one. Hold on. My bad. Get out of here. There we go. We are here to break down Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan the King Garcia. And, man, like, uh, the drama leading up to this fight was hilarious, man. Mostly regarding the uh, the rehydration clause. And, oh, hold up. Don't worry. Hey, hold up. Ryan, I got you, yo. These ain't tacos, but they, they fajitas. They wrapped up, you know, soft serve, you know, real quick. So, you know, in case, you, you know, he's going to come by later and we're going to chop it up. But <laughs> anyway. All right. So, look. So, look. All right. Um. So the the drama, most of the drama was regarding the rehydration clause and how he was talking about how he was going to be at a disadvantage. And I don't know, like, cause you know we went through, we talked about this whole thing with the uh, with the um, with the Jake Paul versus uh, versus um, Hasim Rockman Jr. fight that never happened you know, because of the uh, because of the same situation, but. You know, like nowadays, now, but no, with this was this was way different. Like they had us thinking, like him complaining about it, then the media spinning it up, had us believing that he was going to be starving all the way up until the fight, only to find out that the the weigh in was like dumb early in the morning. <laughs> like then he could gain as much weight as he wanted to. Like but it, it wasn't advised because you know. Like, yeah, if you do that, if you, like, cram that much before a fight, then, yeah, it's, you know, it's going to cause some problems. But, considering some of the information that I got that came out after the fight, I don't think the rehydration clause was as much of an issue as we was led to believe. I'm just saying. Uh, we going we gonna get into that later, but hold on. For now, let's break this fight down. Alright, so for those of y'all that didn't know, alright, Javante Davis defeated Ryan Garcia via knockout. And it wasn't just the ref stopping the fight. No, he took the whole ten count. The whole ten count. And man, so Alright, so let's uh let's get into a little bit of these highlights. So first round would go exactly how you would expect it to go. Both fighters trying to feel each other out, trying to test the range, gauge gauge each other, whatnot. Second round was when Garcia started getting a little bit more aggressive. You see him hugging right here, you see Tank saying that he hit him in the back of the head. There's a little bit of dirty boxing, and then this happened. <laughs> Look. Have a seat, sir. Think about what you did. <laughs> oh my God! Like yeah, and then yeah, and it like Ryan still was still pressing the attack, but you know Davis was just coming was just coming right back at him, and so this went on for a couple rounds. That happened in round two. The the knockdown happened in round two. Rounds three, four, five, and six was going back. I think Tank started to take over in like the fifth round. Um, up until then, it was still kind of neck and neck because Ryan was still like, was so aggressive, you know? And yeah, like he, like he busted him open. You see Ryan start still getting, it. oh, did you see that? Did you see that right there? Hold on, let me run, let me, let me run it back full speed so you can see it. See it? Hold up. Right there. You see that that little jolt on his left arm? <laughs> Take a knee. Look, he was trying so hard to try to get back up, and he couldn't. He took the whole ten count. Man. All right. So look, they about to they about to show it in slow motion what happened. Yeah, like. Bruh. Look, that was it right there. And even then, you can't even really see it. It looked like it just barely grazed him. But when they show the other angle, 
the other angle, that one. That that was what did it. So they traded a little bit right there. So crack. Like, yeah. That was the liver shot. The that soft area like right between um like right but right under the ribs where the where the liver sits at. And man, that shot is what caused him to go down like that. It, it was so fast that it didn't look like it was much, but as you can see, as he backs up, all right, he's like, all right, I'm good. Bounce, bounce. Hold up, wait, let me back up. And right there, that was the, you know, when he had that little, you can see that little wince. Right there, that was when he was starting to feel the pain. And drop. Yeah, like at this point, I saw the uh, I saw the the um the the YouTube channel with the guy that the doctor that break that breaks down like uh, combat sports and uh or well, co well, contact sports in general, and he was talking about like the trauma that he received and how he broke it down. He said basically his whole body just shut down. I'm Dr. Brian Suter, and my goal in this channel is to teach you about the medical side of Brian the Brian Suter, go check out his the YouTube today, channel. The first thing to understand is just basic anatomy of where a body shot like this lands and how it's going to affect the organs Pay that attention. lie beneath where that impact is being transmitted. The liver shot is really damaging, number one, because of the delayed reaction. And number two, because that delayed reaction is something that physiologically you can't control. It's why we saw Garcia, as much as he wanted to get up, he truly wasn't able to get up off the camp. Your body really does just kind of shut down. Looking. Yeah, I'm a, um. All right, so I'm gonna end it right there. So go over to Brian Suter's uh page to watch that. He broke down. He also breaks down. Um, I've seen him break down a couple of fight videos. He broke down um Adesanya's knockout. Uh, he he covered the Demar the, um, Demar Hamlin injury. He was the one that pretty much explained what Commotio Cordis was because I didn't know. And yeah, let's just say I'm gonna be beating my chest a lot less. In any case, getting back to the fight. So yeah, but what even with all of this being said, like some of the information that came out afterwards, you know, made me. You know, not so, you know, it was not so confident about what, uh, about what, uh, Ryan was saying in terms of how, how he was going to be drained after the, you know, after the, um, after the, uh, uh, the rehydration clause or because of the rehydration clause, but you was confident enough to bet your purse. Hold on, hold on. Nah, because this came out. This came out after the fight. Yeah, you hear me? Uh, that's a bet. Yes, let's bet. You hear me on the live? Let's bet. So everything For sure. that you. So you I, want I, I know. I'm let's go. Let's, let's let's make a contract. Let's sign it, both of us. Let's do it. Okay, and if you if don't you really want it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We can. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Ryan, are you sure? I don't speak twice for myself. Oh. So basically, what happened was he just bet his whole purse. He, like, hold up. Tank and Ryan Garcia decide to bet it all. Your boy ate it. Your boy ate it. Think he go. Your boy ate it. Think you, um. You gonna do something? You gonna win? I ain't about to make the deal. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I'm down. The whole let's purse. do it. The whole purse. The whole purse. You heard it, bro. Bro, that means he made nothing off of the fight. If that is, if he didn't really go through with it, but oh man, but like man, that's that was hilarious. <laughs> Oh, and y'all saw my reaction to this. Ryan doesn't look that ready. <laughs> this is the full video. Here we go. Logan is excited. Second guessing every damn right. Wanna bet against the pride of Baltimore? I know Ryan's about to knock me. You think? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh boy, you lucky you a millionaire. Yes! Yes! <laughs> and he bet his homeboy, so like the money didn't really like go nowhere. But <laughs> oh man, but nah, that that's hilarious. All right, so. Uh, long story short, all right. So now, like, they talking about yeah. There was another. There was another storyline that happened afterwards with uh, uh, Oscar De La Hoya leaving the arena early uh, because uh, yeah. When when he was asked why, like, they thought it was because of a, of embarrassment. Uh, the competitor in me says that that's the case, <laughs> but he he said that uh, his security team. His security team had received death threats, or, or he was receiving death threats. So they, uh, so they whisked him out of there like he was the president of the United States. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, Floyd was still sitting at ringside. <laughs> Man, like, listen, if Floyd ain't leaving, and you know, like Floyd. <laughs> You know how many you know how many people hate Floyd? I, I guarantee you it's like I guarantee you it's significantly more people than the eight Oscar De La Hoya for whatever reason. But man, no, but no, he was talking some cash shit leading up to the fight. And this was this was basically a Floyd versus uh Oscar Oscar um this was Floyd Mayweather versus Oscar De La Hoya proxy war right here because, you know, Tank is Floyd's protege uh, and Ryan Garcia is Oscar De La Hoya's pro uh, protege. And Tank soundly defeated him. Like I said, he took the whole 10 count, you know. And, yeah, so, yeah, so, so I think it was, uh, it was embarrassing for him. And, you know, like... What, uh, I can't remember if it was uh, I forgot who it was um, from from Tank's camp, but they, they was like, yo, like we gonna do the same thing that we always did. We gonna take all of your fighters. <laughs> he basically said that yeah, we gonna fuck up all your fighters. Like, and this dude is gonna be no different. But yeah, man, this was a this was a good night for Baltimore. Every fighter from Baltimore that fought tonight. In the preliminaries on this card or whatever, one. So it's a good, it's a good time for a good time for Baltimore. Watch, they got watch. Baltimore gonna be a boxing town. Watch, watch. And, and it ain't gonna be long before we be like, yeah, here in Baltimore, we take two things ser serious: our football and our boxing. <laughs> oh, if you know, you know. Put 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 the comment in the section down and put your put put the answer in the comment section down below if you know where I got that from. So, my name is Advance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe on everything. Put your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis. Do you think that there was some uh, some controversy going on? You think the rehydration clause might have uh, might have affected him a little bit more than he himself led to believe put your comments down below i'm gonna chop it up but listen don't worry ryan i got your consolation prize right here for you you good they they, they here um yeah so cut, swing by and pick them up before i eat them i'm just saying like in any case my name's advance i'm out <laughs>